In the beginning, we found the absolute perfect mint condition Nissan 180SX. One owner, owned by a granny, garaged its whole life. It was perfect in every way. It's my son's dream car until one day. You think at 36 kilometers an hour, how much damage can happen to a car at 36 kilometers an hour? Well, you'll see shortly the damage to this vehicle. The insurance company is going to pay out on the agreed value of what this vehicle was insured for, $25,000. So here we go. That's what happened to it, right there. And that's all you need to do to a vehicle like this for it to be declared a write-off. It actually looks quite repairable. Most vehicles, you might be looking at seven, eight thousand dollar repair bill, maybe as high as ten. But the biggest problem with this vehicle is the airbag went off and they can't replace it. Such a shame. What's the situation with this car, Dylan? It's. How fast are you going at the time of the accident? A whole 36 kilometres per hour. So I pulled out in front of me and wrote my 180 off somehow because they're made of what Coke cans are made of. Okay, so basically the insurance company gave us the option to buy the car back for $2,000, which when you consider it was insured for 25K, that's not a bad deal, is it? So the idea was buy it back, part it out, or sell it as a wreck and make a bit of extra money. But still, it's a tough thing to do. I mean, this is your pride and joy. Nine times out of ten, when an airbag's gone on a car. That's it. Just a squiggle in there, please. Thank you. There's so many nice parts in this car. I can't believe they declared it a write-off. So what's your comment about comprehensive insurance, Dylan? Well, I haven't got enough money to buy another 12 inch from Nadi. And I have one here as well now. So, yeah, comprehensive insurance. Just an autograph down the bottom. Uh, buying something fun? Well, it's a prestige motor vehicle. I'm going to a Yeah, yeah, I'll bring it. I'm going to get the scales and then go into it okay. together. Okay? Now, the guy that we were buying the car off wanted $25,000 and he said in cash. I mean, cold hard cash. Hold on to your bag. Okay, so this is that feeling. I've got the business done with the bank. So Dylan and I drove seven hours through the night to a town in New South Wales called Taree. This is what you look like when you've been sleeping in your car overnight. At least you save on accommodation costs, don't you? It's morning. We arrived down near Taree at about 2 a.m. this morning. So this is where we pulled up down near the beach. It's about 6 a.m. Nice and early. Maybe got two hours sleep if I was lucky. Definitely cooler here than in Queensland. But we noticed when we pulled up last night there's signs about level four water restrictions here. This is down near where the bushfires were in Australia. Doesn't seem to be any water coming out of the taps down here. The joy of just lobbing into a place you know nothing about. Good news is I've just found drinking water. Yay. Have a drink. And this is what we didn't see when we rolled into town late last night in the dark. The bushfires have been through here weeks before, and this is the aftermath. So if I take the key out of the ignition, that's a turbo timer. So I had a bit of a drive of it. This is the moment where we have to decide what we're gonna do. We're either gonna buy this car or we're not. Yeah. What do you reckon, Dylan? Uh, I'm gonna go for it. How good would you give this car out of 100 point? 93. Really? That high? Yeah. It's not perfect. Nothing's perfect. It's got Bluetooth and shit in it. All right, let's go and do it. All right. Look, um, I'll, uh, I'll take it. Is that the status parts? I'm making more power on just pump fuel now. Um, dispose of that and you'll take that in. Okay. Radio, so these are on stacks of five. <laughs> that is five. Yeah. 
I think it's over. We've got the car, it's paid, it's insured. We're heading back to Brisbane. Let's go. It looks beautiful. Dylan couldn't be happier. Listen to Idol, it sounds like a rotary. I couldn't be happier with it. It just makes me wish I didn't, that my album wasn't crashed, but it, it's really nice. Would you, would you swap it for 25k? 25k and a pizza. Uh, let's get going. I'm driving 490k back to Brisbane. Dylan and I are going to an event called Cars and Coffee. Briefly, what's Cars and Coffee about, Dylan? Uh, you have to have a car worth over $100,000 to attend. Now that's just a crazy car, man. Whose car does that? It goes bang, and the wheels spin, and Everybody just disappears behind you. Is, is that normal? Yeah, it's normal. Look at that, it's an HQ, mate. Cars and Coffee is a great event. It happens at various different venues around Brisbane, normally on a Saturday morning about 6 a.m., and there's cars from all different eras. You gotta come along and check it out. Cars and coffee. And not to mention a good bit of health food too. Uh, let's go look at some more really nice small cars. Prestige cars, supercars, go go mobiles, you name it. It's just a great event. Real spectacle. And man, it draws a crowd. So that's it, the 180 lives.